everyone, welcome to the new episode. Uh, as you can see behind me, it's a bit of a mess uh, as we are in the middle of moving to Australia and things are getting hectic. Uh, also, sorry if I sound a bit off, but I have a little bit of cold and my throat is not okay, my sinuses are not okay, my nose is blocked, which is not very ideal before 30 hour flight but hopefully i will get better till then and all my tests will be negative before the flight otherwise we have an issue so uh, as i said the packing gets a bit hectic so yesterday we had a little break we went to warsaw we stopped at the shop and this is what i have right now this is my first ever longchamp bag i the, the purchase was a bit random i didn't go towards so with the intention of buying anything at all especially not the handbag i don't need any more things before moving but i was i was eyeing a long sham bag for a while now i was really tempted to have one and just because as you know it's a very flat bag that you can fold it's not gonna take uh, any space in the luggage and it's very lightweight so i gave in and got it especially that it was on a huge discount which i will get to in a moment so yeah, this is my first ever long sham bag and let's do unboxing together. Ooh, I might need scissors for this or not. Oh, okay. And inside is packed in the paper with the long sham logo as well. This is how it looks folded. We are matching today, as you see. Not intentional, but yeah, I really like color red. It's a very happy color that makes you look alive when even when you are sick, like I am now. So I was eyeing a um, red handbag for a while now. I have only one red handbag. It's Gucci Marmont, but it's a mini handbag. And I haven't worn it um, for a while now, but we are going to a warm climate now. It will be plenty of opportunities to wear it with um, summer dresses. Onto this beauty. I never own any Longchamp bag, as I said before. I only have this item from Longchamp. You've probably seen it if you watch my previous vlogs. It was my best friend uh, in all my travels. As you know, I used to travel tons as a flight attendant and privately as well. And this was my heavy duty skincare and cosmetic bags for all my flights. It traveled with me all over the world and it's very durable. It, it holds a ton. I used to pack it to the brim. I had cosmetics spilled in it. I even washed it in a washing machine and it still looks brand new. It's made of nylon and um, leather. So judging on the cosmetic case that I tried and tested in all the conditions, this is very durable bag and it doesn't have any wear and tear so i thought i need a handbag from the brand as well it would be great for traveling and maybe like everyday bag but anyway without further ado let me show you how it looks like so it is longchamp le pliage original in the size medium this is a top handle version of the bag it also comes with longer straps that you can carry on your arm however i prefer top handle bags that you can carry in your hand or in the crook of your arm majority of my handbags are top handle. As I said before, this is the size medium. The other features of the bag is this leather tab here, uh, close with the snap closure, and then there is a zipper with the zipper pull that looks like this. It, it has a logo of Longchamp, which is a jockey on the horse, and both of the ends of the handbag are secured with leather tab as well. And inside it's just one big compartment it's just one big compartment and it has a pocket in here and here is a long champ card with um, a coat and instruction how to fold it how to maintain the product and I haven't read that yet because I just done an unboxing in front of you this is how it looks with some things in it so it got some shape because previously it was pretty shapeless and this is how it looks against my body for the reference i'm 164 centimeters and i'm 50 kilos so you can have imagination on how it looks on a frame like this and also as a point of reference as i said this is size medium 
this is Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM, so also a medium. Pretty much the same. That's why some people buy this as a cheaper alternative of this handbag and probably more durable for the same durability. This is very durable. I have this one for years, also traveled with me everywhere. It's pretty much in pristine condition, even top handles that usually get worn out first, but as you see, mine are pretty good. They just got more flimsy, but I like the relaxed look of a leather. So sizes are almost the same. I'm not sure I have to test if they hold the same amount of things. Maybe this one holds slightly more because the open opening is wider and this one is secured with a zip, so it's close towards to the top, but I'll test that and let you know later on when I'm packing for my flight because probably I'm gonna use both of them. As for price, this one on the website retails for $125. However, as I said in the beginning of this video, it was on sale as it was last pieces from this collection and it was $50. So it was a steal. I'm really happy I got this handbag, especially in such a great price because this is a forever classic. It's long lasting, it's durable, it is timeless design also very understated, so it is a designer bag in a good price, but not like too flashy in your face. I mean, apart from the color, obviously. Uh, it is a great work bag if you need an um, understated, but still luxury work bag. This is a great choice. It holds a laptop and other things. I know it holds MacBook Pro. Uh, if you want me to do what's in my bag video and what it holds, I will do it later, because probably, as I said, I will pack either this or this as my carry-on for the flight, probably this, but I'm sure I will find a usage for this one. I think it's also a great gym bag and just because it's from such a durable nylon that can be washed, as I said, I, I washed the previous one in the washing machine, it can also be a beach bag and that would be useful where I'm going. Now let's get really quick into the next part of this video, which is how to spot a fake and how to make sure you have a real uh, long sham. Just because this bag is very classic, very popular, but also has a very simple design, it is very often uh, done by, by counterfeiters. So you want to avoid that, especially if you buy your bag from second hand store or online or yeah, thrift stores. I got mine in the shop, in the, in the boutique in Warsaw. But if you are buying yours from a third party, it's good to know what to look at because as a first sight they all look the same but there are certain things to look at just to make sure that you have a real long sham because you know only the real one will last and last years and years to come and the quality uh, is important. So first thing first, you have to have a look at this flap, the leather on the flap, the patterns is almost like a diamond shape I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but hopefully it does. Then there is a very clear and visible logo on the snap closure, which says Longchamp 1948. And here is a jockey on the horse, imprint of the joker and the, on the horse. It's very clear. On the other side of a snap closure, you have a written Longchamp at the top and Le Pliage Type M model, the pose. I'm not sure if that's the correct way to read it because I don't speak French, but that's what it says here. On both sides it has this leather tab, but the thing to look at in here is a zipper pull. Zipper pull also has the same logo, jockey and the horse, and says Longchamp 1948, as well as on the side of the zipper, you have to pay a close attention, it says YKK and T on the bottom. If you have a handbag and it doesn't say YKK and T on the zipper pull, it's probably fake. The other things to look at is the tab inside, which says Longchamp Paris, and that it has a code. And those codes, numbers, references to uh, the color of your bag, the model of your bag, the type of the bag. So it all has to be coherent. I mean, the color with the model and the size that you have, because sometimes on the fake items, they just do the tab as well, but they copied the number and all of them they have the same number. So if the number is not coherent with the uh, size and the color you have, that's probably fake. I mean, that's more likely than fake. Also, what to look at is that if you have this snap closure, 
it is reinforced with the plastic disc. If it's not, it's also fake. So those are the major things to look at when you are checking your handbag and checking if it's real. I hope that was helpful. If you enjoyed this video and you want me to do more handbag video and what's in this bag and uh, the review later on, let me know. I gladly film that because you know that I love handbags and handbag content too. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more content from me as well as join me on my journey of moving to Australia. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. So I thought it is basically indis uh, indestructible. indestructible. Judging on this cosmetic case, I thought this is practically in in <laughs> what? Indestructible. Indestructible. Judging on the cosmetic case that I had and tried and tested and used, this is practically... <laughs> <laughs>